On November 19, 2016, the launch of NOAA's GO-16 satellite forever changed the world of environmental monitoring and hazard detection. Throughout the historic 2017 hurricane season, NOAA's GO-16 delivered imagery with extraordinary detail and clarity, providing an invaluable tool for forecasters, government officials, and emergency managers charged with protecting the life and property of those in harm's way. But GO-16 is only the first step in establishing the United States' next-generation geostationary observing system. NOAA, in partnership with NASA, will soon launch its sister satellite, GOES-S, extending advanced geostationary coverage into the Western Pacific Ocean and adding to NOAA's groundbreaking satellite system. The United States uses two geostationary operational environmental satellites, or GOES, at all times, one in an east position and one in a west position. These satellites orbit 22,000 miles above Earth at speeds equal to the planet's rotation. This precise orbit enables the satellites to remain over a fixed area on Earth's surface and provide continuous coverage of the Western Hemisphere. Once operational, the satellite will command the GOES West position, working in tandem with GOES 16. Weather is always changing, and the better we can predict what's coming, the better we can prepare. The addition of GOES S is a game changer for weather forecasting and will provide critical data for the westernmost United States, including Alaska, Hawaii, and the nation's territories in the Central Pacific. These areas are dominated by high-impact weather events, experiencing a nearly year-round fire weather season, extreme fluctuations in precipitation, prolonged heat waves, and dangerous flooding. These events can significantly impact human health, agriculture, water supply, and recreation in the region. Like GOES-16, the new GOES-S satellite carries a suite of highly advanced instruments. The satellite's primary instrument the Advanced Baseline Imager, or ABI, enables NOAA to gather data using three times more channels, four times the resolution, five times faster than before. Together, GOES-S and GOES-16 will provide ABI coverage from the west coast of Africa all the way to New Zealand. Meteorologists and local officials will be able to see severe weather events and hazards develop across the country in real time. GOES-S is also equipped with NOAA's revolutionary Geostationary Lightning Mapper, or GLM. This satellite technology is the first of its kind, transmitting important and potentially life-saving information. The GLM continually monitors lightning flashes, seen here in yellow. This new data is helping forecasters better predict when a storm is forming, intensifying, and becoming more severe increasing lead times for severe thunderstorm, flash flood, and tornado warnings. In today's digital world, space weather is not science fiction. That is why GOES-S has a suite of instruments that will play a critical role in monitoring space weather. Geomagnetic storms caused by eruptions on the surface of the sun can cause serious trouble on and around the planet. Strong enough storms can interfere with communications and navigation systems, cause damage to satellites, harm astronauts, and threaten power utilities. NOAA's GOES-S will also provide a helping hand to stranded hikers, sailors, and pilots throughout the highly traversed terrains of the western United States. The satellite is equipped with a special transponder that can detect distress signals emitted from emergency beacons. When an activated beacon is detected, NOAA notifies search and rescue personnel at the U.S. Coast Guard and Air Force. Known as SARSAT, the program has aided in the rescue of well over 41,000 people worldwide, including over 8,000 within the United States and its surrounding waters. GOES-S is an incredible machine. 
Join us March 2018 as we see it off on its mission to revolutionize United States weather forecasting.